Hey everybody, <laughs> today is Friday, it is May 14th, 2021. So first of all, I see mom out there, got her hard at work because she wants to try to earn that beer today. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous today. It's just, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. So we've been busy and you'll see a bunch of flags and we'll talk about those in a minute. So today is moving day, moving day. So what do I mean? It is moving day. Actually, let me do this first. Before we do that, let's do this. Because I don't want them to go in there with all... Look at them. They are... Oh, they come flying. Okay, let's do this first. Ladies! <laughs> Ladies! All right, we're going to set this here for a minute. So give me just one second. Folks, I'm going to give these guys some uh, mealworms. Alright, so that puts them out there and they're having their mealworms. And what I'm going to do now, because today is moving day. Everybody, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Everybody, let's go. Come on, babies. Let's go. Come on. Everybody out here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know. I know. It's moving day, though. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Everybody on this side. And here we go. Everybody in. It's like they know, don't they? Look at that. There we go. Now. <laughs> so. They're big enough now. Um, they should be fine, and uh, so yep. So now I can actually clean this side. This side is an absolute mess. So what I'm gonna—I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or not, but I'm gonna be pulling all this stuff out of here. <laughs> um, this may end up disrupting the egg count. I'm not sure because they've been living side by side for quite a while, and so uh, you know we'll see. There's gonna obviously be an adjustment with. Uh, a bunch of new chicks but uh, you know they're they're decent enough size even my my Rhode Island Reds who are a little bit behind um, you know as far as that goes so but uh, yeah they sh everybody should be good so so there it is they're moved they are now in there so like I said so uh, I may get to this today because it definitely needs overhaul <laughs> A complete overhaul I'm gonna leave that like that for right now and uh, so yep yeah, that's you know uh, it was time uh, I've been kind of putting it off I wanted to wait till we had a little bit better weather which we do now and uh, so let me show you all these now so now we have the flags up uh, got all the flags up today and I'll walk you around and I will show you everything and uh, so, um, now we got to do this one first because before all the weak-minded and triggered people go absolutely bananas, I'm going to explain this one time, and I've already explained this in many videos in the past. Some trigger people are going to see that, oh my God, oh my God, he's flying the Confederate flag, okay? I fly the Confederate flag because it's the last time in this country that people stood up to the government and said, I'm not going to take it anymore. That's why I fly the Confederate flag. It has nothing to do with racism or any of that other nonsense that has been perpetuated through the media so that they will trigger you. So if you are triggered and you can't stand it that I fly the Confederate flag, you are free to unsubscribe, okay? Just putting it out there because I'm not taking it down. Uh, I fly it every year. So here in the front, you have the Army flag, the Marine flag, and then I have... Some more over here. That one's already got itself wrapped up. The POW MIA. Um, that is the 9-11 honor flag. It's a 10-year anniversary. It has every name of every person that died in the Twin Towers on that flag. Um, as you can see right now also, Becky is planting because that is what we decided to do because uh, the weather 
moving forward looks pretty decent. So we decided that today is planting day. So while I was putting up flags, uh, she has been planting. Are you having fun yet? Say awesome. No, I know you don't. So we got all the flags up here in the front. All right. Um, I have now. First of all, so anybody um, in Australia, you guys can let me know. I figured I had a 50/50 shot at it. Uh, the Aboriginal flag for the people of Australia. I'm pretty sure if I remembered correctly, the black was on top and red was on the bottom. Um, if I am wrong, please tell me and I will correct it. Okay. Uh, I have this flag up here is the American flag and it's laying there right now. Uh, it's huge. Okay. That is the flag and I was waiting for my other flag to wear out before I put this one up. So I'm not sure if it's going to stay up there because it is absolutely a really big flag and I may change it to a different location. But I wanted that one to be higher obviously because it's the American flag than any other flag on the property. What I So I, I may change the location of that flag. But that flag is kind of a little special importance to me. Um, when my father passed away, that was the flag that they gave me because he was a veteran. He was in the Coast Guard. So uh, that is means a lot to me, and so that is why I'm flying that flag. Obviously, the Do Not Tread on Me. Um, and speaking of the Coast Guard, over here is my Coast Guard flag that I had somebody sent me. Okay, so... The way that we do this, guys, just if anybody wants to know. So there you go, United States Coast Guard, okay? Uh, if anybody wants to know, if you're curious about why I fly the flags, um, and can you send me a flag, absolutely you can. Uh, I fly the flags because it shows solidarity to everybody around the world that we are really truly all in this together. So when I say that at the end of my videos, I'm not just blowing smoke up here behind. Um, it's how I really feel. So that is why I fly all the different flags from different countries around the world. Um, also, if uh, you are ex-Navy or you are ex-Air Force and you would like to send me the Air Force flag or the Navy flag, I would be honored to fly them as well. Um, obviously, I already have the Army because I was in the Army. Uh, somebody last year sent me the Marine Corps flag, which I fly, and somebody sent me the Coast Guard flag as well last year. So uh, if you don't see the flag of your country here, and you are interested in sending me a flag, I would be more than happy to fly it for you. Okay, so just putting that out there ahead of time. Uh, so, now I do need uh, a new Australian flag. I do not have uh, an Australian flag at the moment I did. It got tore up, so that had to be disposed of. Uh, that's what happens wear and tear. But, uh, so anyway, so that is all the flags are out now. Uh, every pole that I have is taken but uh, I will always buy more poles and there's more places to put flags uh, like I said I put this one here I can add more there I could add more on this side so there's more places to put flags and uh, so I definitely uh, have no problem doing that and so just that explains it oh um, I will be live streaming tonight as well 8 p.m. Uh, so topic to be determined yet. I'm not 100% sure what the topic is going to be, but uh, I have to sit down and look at what I want to talk about this evening. But uh, we will get into that when the time comes. But uh, So we've been busy today. Uh, I actually uh, I had to do some maintenance on cat litter boxes this morning, which is always exciting. I didn't want to share that on video because I'm sure you didn't want to see me cleaning out my cat boxes. And so I did that. Uh, I had to bring in another bag of dog food and cat food because we were getting low. So I brought those in the house, transferred everything over. So which means, because um, I always keep uh, the bag that I'm using, plus I like to have three backups of each. So I'm going to need to go down and I'm going to have to pick up another bag of dog food and another bag of cat food, which is not a big deal. Uh, so I will be getting to that. But uh, yeah, so... Um, we, you know, we, we're in a stretch now where the weather is obviously getting better. Uh, we have a lot more of the potatoes coming up now. You can see them all through here uh, in the front. They're really coming up. Three different batches. So the batch in the center came up first. Uh, these guys here are doing fantastic. And then these guys down here, and you can see the different color in the leaves. Uh, they're just coming up now. So we will have a lot of potatoes this year which i'm pretty excited about and uh, we'll see what kind of produce or you know um, how much we get from them 
So, did you you didn't have anything planted back on this side that you were going to plant? I had nothing on that yet either. Okay. And that and that bed and that side. Okay. So right now, um, Beck is obviously planting. We got things going in. I'll, I'll walk you around and I'll show you. We got to mark everything too. Um, but uh, so she's planted this bed, and the and the cool thing this year we're we're spreading things out more. It's going to spread on its own. Uh, it'll grow like crazy, which it always does. So we got this bed growing here or done. She's got this bed is done. Uh, different like so on this side is watermelon and would you put on this side cucumbers right yeah okay the cucumbers on this side um, and then we got what tomatoes over here back peppers, peppers and tomatoes so so peppers and tomatoes all through here gotta kind of watch that because that's we'll have to do something <laughs> Oh, that's a weed. We don't want that to grow in there. I was like, wait a minute. All right. But uh, so then uh, this bed, guys, is all all onions except for what else did you plant in here? Green beans, yellow and green beans. Yellow and green beans were in here as well, but the majority of this bed is all onions. And uh, so we're going to still have this bed to go. And then half of that bed there. Now, we also have uh, more stuff growing in the greenhouse. Um, I'm actually giving some stuff away to some of my neighbors. And uh, that's the game plan there. And uh, so that's where we're at. But, uh, yeah, so it's coming together. It's coming together. But uh, just a gorgeous day. So we'll go in real quick. I will show you the solar. And we'll see what that's doing. I'm sure it's jamming at the moment. Now the flag here, guys, that's New Zealand over there, okay? All right, let's see. We are pulling in 1.53 kilowatt hours on this side. We are pulling in 758 watts on this side. So about 22, about 22 and a half, uh, 2,250 watts coming in right now. The batteries are at 28. 26 8 they will not go higher than 28 we have it set at 28 so if we got close to 28 they'll just dump the power okay so uh, that's that's where that is so they're doing fantastic uh, charging really really well this morning when I came out uh, the dogs actually let me sleep until 8 o'clock today which was nice we were had we were bringing in power when I checked at 8 30 and we were already at 26.28 uh, at that point. Now we're at 26.80. So it will definitely, as the day goes on, it's pushing noon at the moment. And uh, so as the day goes on, we will definitely, uh, you know, bring in quite a bit more power. So I'm curious to see. Let's just take a look here of what's happening. I don't think the little ones will go out of the chicken coop quite yet. Uh, I think they need to get more comfortable before they do that. But, uh, you know, like I said, with, with everything else, it's an adjustment. And uh, we'll just take a look. Uh, there, were, there was going to have to happen anyway. And I wanted to get this done, uh, the transfer done, before Heather and I leave. So, yeah, they're all kind of hanging out over here. Um, which is fine. They got the access to the food. They got water, so they're they're good to go. Um, like I said, I will I will be cleaning all this up in here. Uh, I may start working on it today. I have not decided yet, but it's really it's a lot. But uh, so they're they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. There, you know, there is definitely a pecking order, and uh, you know they will uh, they'll find their place. And we'll go from there. So, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they're big enough. They'll be able to handle whatever. I mean, obviously, some of the hens are much bigger. The white hens are much bigger. But, um, you know, like I said, they got it. At some point, they had to be incorporated in. 
that's why I like to go on this side for a while first let them adjust get to know each other so then when I do put them in with the flock it's not like they're not attacking them it's not a big deal it's not all at once and it's not all brand new so that's where we're at and uh, so yeah they look good they look good All right. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here for now. Uh, we've been busy today, which is a good thing. Oh, my God. Hella tore that bag up already. I left it out here. and she. What did you do here? What did you What did you do? Ah, 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 no jumping. No jumping. What did I say? So, anyway, <laughs> that's... Uh, yeah, I'll have to clean that up. But anyway, guys, I am going to jump off for right now. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race, and as soon as we can get past that, we can really focus on the true problems in this country, which is the government and big business, which would be a nice thing to do. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important, and we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you were trying to do, whatever you were trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that is going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. I hope everybody has a great day. I will see you tonight, 8 p.m. Uh, we'll have a great chat. All right? Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Pandora? Uh, 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 what did I tell you? Lunatics. All of them. Except for Caesar. <laughs> so. Could you get closer, do you think?